Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'd like to show you uh, how to fix Japanese IME. Uh, sometimes uh, you have to you have to press like this to change your input to kana kana mode instead of usual like this. If you use if you use the alphabet, you're gonna type it like usual. For example, I'm typing right for five. Should be like this. And then you'd like to uh type with the kana input like oh wait a second okay uh you want you want put it uh into japanese like for example this one uh like this i mean this is this is my name in in japanese as you can see over there i i i don't have to i don't have to change the kana input by going to the mouse button here uh, and in most in most cases, people are just having difficulties to uh, to fix this Japanese inputs. If you type here, you're gonna get uh, automatically set into alphabet uh, mode because your keyboard does use that, right? So in order to activate uh, this kana input mode, like this is kana kana, this is regana. Okay. And this is katakana, yeah. Or you can just use the kanji. Okay, this is the kanji of katakana. So if you have the problem about that, I'm sorry, I'm taking too long for the introduction. So let's just get to the point. So first, you're gonna check the edit language and time and language settings, just like this. Should be get familiar with the settings here because you can just search over there okay I'll go back to time and language you can go to language and region and then for the typing where should i go again oh this one japanese language pack text to speech blah 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 language options microsoft ime keyboard options and what you have to do is go just go to the general and turn this thing on compatibility use previous version of microsoft ime to on it was it was set by default uh off but i just turn it on and then the advanced settings here appears so you can open the advanced settings and change this to current input mode all of this uh i for i kind of forget uh which one uh which is uh which one was the default option but uh one of these options uh were set as always half width or always full width or something like this i kind of forget but but just change it this way apply like for example it was always half width i guess so it won't change no it's changing well whatever um the most important thing is just you have to use the previous version of microsoft IME here okay and that's all so now you can like like this. Wait, why am I using? Okay, like this. So you can use katakana, regana. For example, what's my? Uh, what are you gonna do today? Okay. Uh, let me just give an example. Means. What are you gonna do today? Like that, for example. Yeah. That's all. I honestly was really frustrated for <laughs> for uh, doing this uh, settings because uh, if I want to type kana, I have to press this, press using the mouse button at the bottom right corner. But now I can just use the, the keyboard shortcut. Or else, for the alternative, if you if you can if you're unable to do the settings, you can just go to Microsoft Store. Wait, why is it Microsoft Store? No, 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 no. You just have to search for Google Japanese input. Yeah, just like that. So you can use this as an alternative. Uh, it literally uses the same the same shortcut as Microsoft IME. You can use it also. Uh, just download it already like that and uh, you may continue and by clicking accept and install and this is optional 
Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's been a while since last time I made a video. And today I'd like to, sh to make some tutorials. Okay, that's all. See you on my next video. Peace out.